and hey guys welcome back to the channel today we're actually going to take the old nightclub in willow creek and turn it into condos i thought that would be a really good idea since they are kind of french quarter-esque inspired from new orleans so i wanted to um do that I felt because a lot of those homes in the French Quarter are condos or townhomes so I felt like that would be a perfect way to incorporate this into Willow Creek um, today I'm sipping on water some quality H2O my stomach's been kind of funny lately so I didn't really want to sip on anything crazy so that I didn't upset my stomach anymore so just water today I end up making three apartments or condos, you would say. Um, I don't know what the difference is. A condo, an apartment, townhouse, they all seem the same to me, but I made three different ones um, and I split them up. This is how I do it. The layout wasn't too bad to like figure out. I just was more or less trying to make the building more interesting looking than what it was before. Okay, so I do put place manager in some places, not all places. Um, if you want to do that, it's actually really a good way to kind of know where to put like bedrooms um, or if like if you need to make them bigger or smaller. I got that from Deligacy. I did not think about that until I was watching one of her videos and I was like, oh, that's a really genius idea. Um, so that's what I do now. If you guys want to do that, I think it's an amazing idea. I also struggled with the upstairs layout for some of these apartments, so I kind of cut it out only because I'm trying to keep this video at a reasonable length. No one wants to watch an hour long video of every step by step. I mean, some people might. I do not. So I try to do things that I feel like I would want. Yeah, I'm telling you. I struggled a little bit with these layouts. It was only upstairs for some reason, only because I guess I knew that downstairs was going to be more of an open-ish concept. I also didn't know how many apartments I or bedrooms I could get into the apartments, so I was trying to figure out that. Um, this one, all in all, this build wasn't bad, it's just it took me kind of a while to kind of figure out how I could get it to fit more than one bedroom. I do have only one bedroom in one apartment, but I wanted the other two to be two bedrooms so you can get more Sims on the lot. But I just was struggling with that. Oh yeah, sorry guys. I cut out where I painted the buildings. Um, they're the same brick swatch, but they're just a different color swatches because I saw in the French Quarter, like when I was looking up um, inspiration for it that they a lot of the bricks were different or they were painting the bricks and kind of splitting up the actual like quote quote buildings or townhouses so they were all one building it looked like like on the strip but it was different like colors or windows or things like that so I felt it was easier to do different brick colors to kind of really show that they were different apartments or different townhomes or whatever you want to call them Oh, this is where I decided I was going to make all the bathrooms blue downstairs because of the blue velvet nightclub. I thought that would be fun. That's how they like kind of incorporate it with like the blue front doors. Um, like maybe the developers or the people who bought the old nightclub and flipped it thought that that would be a cool thing to do to kind of keep the history of the building. struggled you guys 
I put that whole living room right there, and then I was like, oh, where am I gonna put a dining room table? And I was like, oh, yeah. And then I was struggling with that door. So I have not play tested this yet because there are apartments. So just let me know if it don't work because I'm just gonna upload it. And I'm sorry if it doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want once I upload it to the gallery. I wish we had more cabinet options. I just really want more cabinet options. Not like bottom cabinets, but like the top cabinets. The covers are just, I just wish we had better ones. So trying to keep the, like all the bathrooms the same downstairs only because I feel like that's what they do in apartment buildings. Like, it's just a cheap way to do it. They just bulk buy items and then they just put them all the same. So it's a cheaper way to make max profit. Okay, so I thought I was going to do a white kitchen in here. I do not. If you've ever had a white kitchen in real life, they're the devil. Okay? I don't ever want white cabinets again. You guys can love that. If that's like your taste, go for it. But I just do not. Like we have three doggios and they come in from outside, you know, they shake and then you get you get dirt or mud all over your cabinets and it's just no thank you. It's a constant cleaning and I don't mind cleaning, but it's a lot when they're screaming white. You can see everything, everything on them. So personally, I will not be having white cabinets ever again. I try to switch up the furniture in all of the apartments because I feel like everyone's taste is different. I didn't want them to be exactly the same other than something that would come in the apartment naturally. Like your bathrooms, no one brings their own toilet. You know what I mean? So. I was trying to switch it up with furniture and trying not to use, other than the book nook bookcases, I do use those on I think almost all the apartments because they're just so good. Um, I tried to only use base game and for rent and then just my kits that I have in this build um, so that you guys don't have to have all of the packs to kind of be able to download this. It's so funny, I put the bookcases there and originally, and then I was like, no, I don't like that, and then guess who puts the bookcases right back? I think I do. I think I do. <laughs> and I really wanted the screen to work, because I kind of wanted to like feel like they had a separation between the kitchen and the living room, and it was just too big and bulky, and I get rid of it. Because I felt like I could have got it to work, and it just wasn't working. I love that like sagey, dark sagey green with that navy blue wallpaper. It looks really good. Like the weird things that you can get to match. Oh, I do. I throw up all of the jazz photos I can <laughs> in these apartments. I feel like those are the staple for it being like, oh, this is the old nightclub, the old jazz nightclub. So. There's a lot of jazz photos in here. You guys can delete them if you want. I just thought they were funny. This one's the third apartment. I was trying to do all the, you know, bottom level, the first level of the apartments first and then do the second floor. Um, just because I knew I was gonna copy and paste a lot of the, um, bathrooms and kitchens and a lot of the same things okay you guys I pulled out all this stuff right 
and made a kitchen and I hated it. So I cut out where I built it so that you guys didn't have to waste time watching me build a kitchen that I was just going to rearrange anyways. So here is where the final kitchen's going to be. Um, I make a U kitchen with cabinets instead of like with walls. I mean, you could put a wall there if you want. I kind of liked that it was still open to the whole room, like the living rooms, dining, all that, um, in my opinion, but yeah, you guys do what you want once I upload it. I thought about putting an end piece there and then I was like, mm, too much. We're gonna put that, bam. I think I actually might have forgot a trash can on one of the apartments. I do forget to put a, uh, a change that door color. So when I go back through at the end, the door color is still dark brown. <laughs> I will change it before I upload it to the gallery. But yeah, I totally spaced it. I was like going through and I didn't even notice. And I was like, oh wait, this door is dark brown. Sorry guys, I cut out some stuff just because it's quick and easy just to get you guys going here without making it a long-o, long-o video. I kind of like that little seating area I put in like the kitchen area. It's kind of almost like... I know that they don't have probably these in their houses, but it gives me kind of European vibes. Like that was where you go and sit and have your coffee. If you had like a guess over, you could go and sit and have coffee there and kind of chit chat instead of, it's more of a casual seating spot instead of like very formal and like the table or in the living room where it's kind of like a nice little lounge to have some coffee and a, or a coffee and a book or something. I don't know. I kind of really liked that area. Okay, this is the first apartment. Um, but now we're doing the second level. I kind of did them in a weird way. I didn't think about it when I was videoing these. Videoing? Um, when I was recording, excuse me. I just, okay, I also did this room and I started to hate it. I couldn't get anything. I just wasn't feeling it. So I'm pretty sure this is where I like start deleting a bunch of stuff, rearranging. Yeah, see. I've been really into the like night ta nightstand lights, like the table lights, way more now. I used to like never put them on anything in Sims. But now I just feel like as I get older, I'm like, I would much rather have like a table light on than my um, recessive lighting. In my opinion, it's more cozy, it just feels more homey to me, but each to their own. I don't do anything special to this bathroom. Just a nice little plain old bathroom. I like that toilet. I know it's not like the normal, it's not the cheapest toilet either, but I like that toilet. I don't know. I feel like it's more modern-esque. I guess I should have used an old toilet kind of for this build because it's kind of more of an old building. But maybe when they renovated, they updated the toilets. I don't know. So when I was building um, this apartment in mine, I thought that the main bedroom is like um, like a dad's and he's like a single father and he has like a little girl and he really lets her kind of help decorate. So they, they have like very traditional things, but then they have the color, um, color pop stuff or pastel pop, excuse me, um, stuff so that that's why you see like the green desk and the fun chair and I felt like that would be such a cute thing. Look, it's just him and her so he kind of lets her have 
some pick on things with their furniture in the house. I had a lot of fun making this room. Other than this window, apparently, I was struggling. You know, I think I really want some cloud shelves like that. That would be so cute. I might have to make some. The Sims team should make them and sell them. They'd make bank. Maybe don't do that. <laughs> they would probably cost so much. This is where I thought like this would be the mix of like his furniture and her furniture together. So you kind of get this funky room that kind of goes together, but it doesn't at the same time. It just looks a little story. You guys can change it, but I thought that would be cute if we put that those kind of sims in this. And like maybe they're the landlords, like they own the building or something. And here's this second apartment. I only have one bedroom in this one. Um, maybe it's just a couple or an older couple. Maybe they just wanted to downsize and they don't want a big old house anymore. Or this could be, you know, the landlords and they are the older couple. And I said, oh, this wants glasses. I really wanted to get to, not get together, but the growing together. Wall sconces, those globes. I love those globes. But just base game for rent, so I went with like the older style ones. Ooh, I had fun with this bathroom because I did it a little bit different. Like they actually have a tub in this one instead of the shower tub combo. And I use the four rent cabinets to make a vanity. You know what I realized though? When you don't use like the normal kitchens or the normal like already built in sinks, like the ones that are already sinks and cabinets, if you put a sink down and then you try to put soap and stuff on the sinks, like with the cabinets, it doesn't fit on the sink like it's supposed to. I'm sure everyone else knows this, but it was driving me crazy. Mm. Here's a little office kind of book nook area. Like this is where they like come and sit and read, where they want some downtime. But they also need, you know, a desk for work or something. Oh, here's my jazzy pics that I put everywhere. I know I use this rug in almost every apartment, but I have to. It's just it's a good rug. And plus it was one of my kits, so I could use it for this build. You don't realize how much items you lose when you don't have all of the packs, which is a good thing though. Because I think like you find other things. Here is the third apartment we are going in using my kit stuff and here is for rent and tables this is the original blue wallpaper from the club so i wanted to keep it and make it the whole room kind of as the history part you know what nostalgia to what the building was I actually end up really enjoying this room. I kind of struggled with this apartment for some reason. I'm not sure why I did, but I did. I ended up liking this room in the end because I also do the ultimate simmer thing where I just put a bunch of plants everywhere and it makes me happy, it makes me feel better. <laughs> just plants cooler. Here's a little office space. Um, I don't, cause the space was kind of an awkward space. So I put bookcases here, 
Nothing crazy. We love a good door glitch. Okay, this room, I absolutely struggled. Like, all aboard the struggle bus, okay? I thought I was doing... <laughs> I thought... I don't know. Maybe it was because it was the color of the room. Like, the wallpaper color I chose. But let me tell you, it was the struggle bus. And I definitely cut out quite a bit of it because I end up just changing the whole thing. So... I tried to cut out a lot of it because I was like, okay, you guys don't even need to see this because it's going to change, so. I also don't know if I like the for rent curtains. Unless you're making a for rent home, like the Tomerang home. You could definitely use them there and like really stylize them. But I'm just not sure I like them when you're trying to mix match things. Like, I just could not. Also, update the base game beds, Sam's team. We need some more single beds for base game. Or update my colors, do something. Also, when we get packs, can we get some more single beds too? Like, we don't get any single beds. They're all big double beds. Like, come on. Like, obviously I want a double bed, too, for my game, but sometimes when you are doing things like this, you're like, oh my god, we have, like, no single beds. Especially if you don't have all of the packs. And that's expensive, so... Come on, Sims team. But in the end, I do end up liking this room. Here's a little idea. I didn't show you guys the rest of the balconies I did, because... They were taking up a lot of time, so I just cut them out. But I will show you all of the balconies when we go through our walkthrough at the end. The only thing that's sad about this one is like this balcony is only reached, you can only get to it from this one bedroom. This bathroom, I think, is just a nice plain Jane White bathroom. I do change the wall tiles, though. But nothing crazy. I think that's about it for the apartments. We should be going into the walkthrough here in a minute. You guys we're gonna jump into those apartments i am so sorry about my mouse in the middle of the screen i was fighting with the camera i didn't even notice but here this is apartment number one and you come in and there is oops sorry there is the little living room with the book nook um couches and chairs and then we've got some for rent things and then we come into the kind of kitchen area. So funny though, I put things underneath those stairs and I didn't realize that the walls were like half or something. So there's probably things underneath there now. I gotta delete them. Just a nice view from this side of the room. We're gonna go into the bathroom that's downstairs. I honestly really like this blue bathroom. I put the like jazz painting in here. I think this is the biggest bathroom in the apartments downstairs. And then we're gonna go upstairs, but I cut that because that's not, mm, yeah. Okay, so you come upstairs and here is 
the little desk area. I didn't realize I used that uh, sofa table more than once. My bad. Little hallway bathroom. I don't know if I like the white tiles, but I didn't know what else to do, so I just kind of left them. Here is the little girl's room, or boy's room, whatever you guys want. I honestly love this room. I had fun kind of doing it. I thought it was just like a fun room. And I got to see some more of like the base game stuff that I wouldn't have put. Here's a little balcony that goes to that room. It has a little activity table for the little girl or whoever. And then we're gonna go into the adult's room. Honestly, I think this room came out pretty good. It definitely gives me dad vibes um, with like the trunk and whatnot. And I put some extra storage on the walls. I'm just, I think this room came out kind of cute for, you know, a single dad's room. And then we're gonna, oh, I wanted to show you the little cozy area right there. And then we're gonna go out to the balcony. There is an easel out here, just a little bench and plants. We love a glitchy camera. And here is apartment number two. I must have moved the door on when I was working on the inside because I know for a fact that that column was not in front of the door. So I'll have to figure that out. Here is apartment number two. I really love this sage green couch with the navy blue. There's the kitchen. I was trying to do that white kitchen and it did not work. Come in and here's the little dining and here is the blue bathroom that also matches the other apartments. Here is the living room with like some books and a little chair. I really like those curtains for this build. Oop, here is upstairs. You come into kind of like their desk slash book nook little area where they can study or read or just hang out. Here is the main bedroom. We did some industrial loft and some for rent here. And then we go into the bathroom. I really like this blue bathroom or like those blue tiles with the yellow. I think it really kind of works with the for rent cabinets. They got an actual tub in this one because their bathroom is pretty big. Here is the balcony. They have a large balcony. I think it kind of makes up for them only having one room. So they have like a huge wraparound. Mmm, love a glitchy camera. It is so glitchy, you guys. The mod was better. Sorry, Sims team. Little woodworking and some activities for the Sims. And then here is apartment number three, or you can color coat them. Blue, purple, I think the other ones are kind of like a white blue. Here is, okay, this downstairs I think is one of my favorites. I love this little view kitchen shape and the little chairs that are over by the window. We're gonna go into the bathroom, which is looks like all the other bathrooms. There's the blue, jazzy downstairs. There's the door I need to change from dark brown to white. I just love that little chair area. And then here's a little living room with a TV. And this is how we come upstairs. You got bookshelves, and then you have like a desk at the end of the hall. And then here's the master. I kept the blue in this room just like I did in the first apartment to go with the original wallpaper from the nightclub. And then we're gonna go down the hall. 
into the spare room. I didn't really theme this room to like fit a child or a teen or anything. I just kind of felt like maybe it was their guest bedroom. And then their little balcony that you can see the neighbors. And then their bathroom, just a nice plain white bathroom. I did change the tiles in this one from the other ones. And then we're gonna go outside to the shared space. So the shared space has a grill, I put a bonsai tree, a bar, kind of like an homage to the original nightclub, some chess and some gardening plots. I know that apartments do better when you have a lot of shared space activities, but I think that's it for today, you guys. Thanks for watching. Please like or subscribe and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.